Bula Malele, Talopa, and welcome to Season 6, Episode 57 of Breakfast Bites by TevoVoSports.com, a wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a bright and sunny Tuesday morning, 29, 29 August 2023, coming to you with Tan Savanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, breaking news, New Zealand's Scott Barrett is free to play after an independent uh, judicial committee decided that he's ordering off in the uh, Rugby World Cup 2023 warm-up test between the All Blacks and South Africa last Friday was sufficient and that no further sanction is necessary. In Rugby League, so it's an old-fashioned five-game shootout to see who, to decide who plays who in week one of the NRL Finals in December. First up, it's the NRL Minor Premiership and Top 4 Showdown when the Broncos host the Storm on on Thursday night. The Storm have won their last 14 encounters in a row. Plus, the last time the Broncos beat Melbourne at Suncorp Stadium was all the way back in 2009. Reese Walsh up against Cameron Munster. Payne Hess opposite uh, Nelson Asofa Solomona. This game sells itself. If the Broncos win, they host the Storm again in week one of the finals. Ding, ding, ding. Next up, the oldest rivalry in the game reignites when South Sydney hosts the Sydney Roosters at Accor Stadium. If Souths win, they're in the finals, lose, and it could be all over. Back-to-back premiers, Penrith then hosts the Cowboys in another showdown with top eight ramifications. If the Cowboys win and Souths lose, then North Queensland book a spot in the finals. Penrith are guaranteed to finish second, irrespective, but if Brisbane lose, then they could secure the minor premierships with a win. The Dragons hosting the Knights is also critical, because it dictates whether Newcastle finish fifth or sixth. Finally, the Canberra Raiders need to win the last game of the regular season against the Sharks at Shark Park to guarantee a spot in the top eight and the home semi-final. But if they lose and the Cowboys upset the Panthers, then it could be an earlier than anticipated Mad Monday for the Green Machine. After a week of turmoil, there's been some good news with South Sydney fans with Captain Cam Murray signing a massive extension, which will keep him in Redfern until the end of 2028. The Australian Kangaroo and uh, New South Wales Blues Origin Rep was under contract until the end of 2025 but has signed on for an additional three years at Australian $950,000 a season. In the FIBA, Basketball World Cup hosted by the Philippines, Japan and Indonesia, unheralded Latvia accomplished the unthinkable, knocking off Olympic silver medalist France 86-88 in a stunning upset. Uh, that eliminated them from the tournament in the first round. China's Basketball World Cup campaign is hanging by a thread. After a surprise 69-89 loss to tournament debutants, South Sudan ranked 62nd in the world. China was thrashed 105-63 by Serbia, Uh, in their opening game and must now beat Puerto Rico and hope that other results go go their way to also avoid a first-round exit. China, where basketball is a national obsession, secured the services of American NBA player Kyle Anderson, who has Chinese ancestry and obtained citizenship just last month. Known in China as Li Kaya, Anderson was the game's top scorer with 22 points, but it was not enough. 
American-born Carlick Jones, who plays for the NBA's Chicago Bulls with South Sudan's top scorer with 21 points. In combat sports, Alexander Yuzik may have retained his WBC, IBF and WA, WBA World t- Heavyweight Boxing titles, but British challenger Daniel Dubois claims he was cheated in the fifth round after he hit Yuzik in the abdomen with a solid shot which was deemed a low blow, forcing a lengthy delay that allowed the Ukrainian warrior to recover. In football, it started with a kiss. Spanish football, El Presidento, Luis Rubiales, is a dead man walking now after the majority of the women's team coaching staff resigned. While the controversial head coach, George Vilda, broke his silence to surprisingly slam the actions of Rubiales, given that Vilda was seen applauding as Rubiales declared he would not be resigning from his post last Friday. Oh boy, this is a Netflix documentary for sure. For TableForSports.com, I'm Carlton Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.